let's, let's dial it back some. So in 2012, this is like possibly the hardest year in track and field to be a 100 meter runner because the Jamaicans, they they like they are, they running, they literally running the world. Like they 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 doing what they do, and I think it's probably at the, at this point, Jamaica is where the USA was, where you could run 9-9 nine, nine, not make the team. Not make the team. They were, they were that good. They were that good. You yeah. could run 9-9 nine, nine and be on the relay pool or at, at the crib. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that was a very hard time in track and field. So talk about the Jamaicans a little bit. Usain, obviously Blake, Safa. I mean, what can Nesta you, Carter. What can you say? It, it literally was the renaissance of of sprint of Jamaican sprinting. Like that's what exactly what it was. I mean, it was like the stars aligned. Like you had Usain at the top. You had Johan, who was the next to take the crown. You had Asafa, who was tried and true veteran, um, still running crazy fast times, and. Um, you had Nesta Carter, who was up and coming as well. So Michael had, Freighter. And you had Michael Freighter. <laughs> so me had all these guys who were feeding off each other. And what I mean by that is like the success of one was a success for all of them. And they used that as inspiration to run faster. And iron sharpened iron. So you had these guys who were like, oh, you saying can do it? I can do it. And now you see Johan out here running nine eights. You know what I'm saying? And then he goes into nine sevens. And so on and so on. So, but at the end of the day, none of that shit scared me at all, bro. Like, it's weird because it was like, <laughs> I still went in with the intent of, I'm about to win the motherfucking Olympics. In my mind, that's exactly how I felt. Like, no one could tell me that I was not going to win this <laughs> shit. <laughs> and um, I just remember, I remember it just, Watching them compete while we was at the Olympics, watching them practice on the other side of the track, Johan and Usain, right? And they're running these flying hundreds, boom, boom, boom. And by the time they get to the 50 meter mark, they kick up another, another gear. Like that, right? And I'm thinking like, what? You know, what kind of, what kind of style is that? Get into finals, that's what kind of style it is. <laughs> <laughs> A winning style. <laughs> I mean, you watch the race. You see what happens. So, but I, I don't want to, yeah. So, I watched them. And I remember being so hyped for the prelims. We go out there. I ran a good time in the prelims. I think I ran the fastest prelims ever in Olympic history at that point. And as I'm giving the interview after the race, still in the stadium, right? Uh... Ryan Bailey comes along and runs 988 in the first round. <laughs> As I'm talking, giving an interview, and it's like, I look back like, oh, well, yo, that, that's gone. So, <laughs> so that showed you that like everyone in 2012 was rocking and rolling. That Olympics was, I think that was probably like the fastest Olympics in history. Like, like it, yeah. everyone was rocking and rolling. 